Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain two comments that they are different, but they are the same, they have the same name. That's what I want to explain in one lesson. If you go in here and create a uh, <clears throat> pattern, as you can see, it's a simple pattern here, and another simple pattern below that. Okay. <clears throat> During the 3D, I make them a little up, and I want to explain it here. Uh, in, a, in a previous lesson, we have a lots of tools that you can mirror it, symmetry this pattern to this part. It's very simple. You can copy it, then <coughs> mirror press like this. But if you want to make it a symmetry and create one pattern, it's very easy. You have to go to the edit pattern. It's very important. You have to select one, this segment here. And if you click, <clears throat> select this segment, right click. And here we have two um, common. First is unfold. And the second thing is unfold with symmetry editing and swing. Unfold, as you can see, it's unfolded and create a symmetry pattern at other part. But the important thing that is, as you can see, if you change <coughs> one part, it does not affect another part because it's not symmetry, just unfold it. Another tool is like a right click and unfold symmetry editing. And as you can see, a dash line will be happening at the middle of that. And the famous color will be appearing. That it means, okay, this is symmetry. And as you can see, you can see that. And if, if you have a swimming part, Swing part, it will be um, symmetry with swing. That you can refer to the previous lesson that you understand. <clears throat> Another interesting tool is uh, unfold in a 3D. The unfold in a 3D, it's here, fold arrangement. It means if you want to fold and wrap <clears throat> a part of your clauses, you can use this. It's very simple. First, you have to create an internal line that you learned before that you have to specify in which part of your colossus, your pattern, do you want to fold it. First, you have to go and create an internal line here. You can snap it from here or it's not important. Just make it straight and double click to finish it. Escape. And as you can see, it does not... Uh, it's the because 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 i turned the snap to pattern off you learned it before going to the edit it but i want to we have to make it exactly reach the borders you learn it before right click and we need to cut it trim and extreme trim and extend and add a point to the outline now as you can see <clears throat> we have two parts of the segments very important and you can go to the 3D and you can fold your pattern based on this axis, based on this segment. Simply select your fold arrangement and then select this line that you want. And as you can see, this, this uh, gizmo will be up here. And as you can see, if you're going here, you can click and drag and fold this part. Or if you want to fold this big part and you can fold your pattern here and you can create an interesting design with your colossus it is folding for sleeves colors any part of your colossus you can use it so it's very interesting and you have to create an internal for that and <clears throat> we have another thing here that you have to mention if you do that we have um, just a little uh, sitting in a properties editor here if you select the fold tool it is it just we have a properties for internal line name and the fold and the length and the management okay this is properties of this line the most important thing that you can change it is here fold fold the strings it's very straightforward uh, how much strength do you want to fold it? It's back. Uh, you, I will be give, give you a lot of example when we reach to project. It's it's the strength of fold. 
how much how much power do you want to fold this part and the fold angle this is exactly this and as you can see you can change your fold angle here and it is a full rendering as you can see it is <clears throat> facet and hard edge here but if you deactivate as you can see we have a smooth folding it's by you as you can see we have a more sharp angle here or if you turn it off you have an smooth uh, smooth folding happen here it's by you if you want to smooth folding you can uncheck that or if you want to it's a fold rendering it means it's better seen rendering uh, we have more pressed clouds in this part okay this is all about fold hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release